Welcome to another conversion video by edmika.com. This is for the new FD or FDN uh, Canon fisheye, the, um, the 7.5 millimeter 5.6. Now what's really cool about this lens is it's truly autofocus because everything is in focus from 5.6 to f22. Um, now it's important that you order the right kit because there are two versions of this lens. The uh, original breech lock mount, the original FD mount, um, and the new FD mount. This conversion video is for the new FD mount to uh, be able to reversibly um, change from the FD mount to an EF mount. Now, uh, one thing to consider before you make this conversion, some um, uh, camera bodies, it will interfere with the rear mirror. And because it's not a moving rear lens element, on some bodies, the only way you'll be able to work, use them at all will be in live view, and you'll actually have to mount the lens after you bring live view up. Now the 5D Mark III, which is shown here, can work with it. It's, um, it is a full frame mirror, um, but as you can see, I can, and it's quite, it's a, it, it's a, um, a full circle that it captures. It doesn't have a problem. You can bring the mirror up and down and it just clears it. A 6D, which is the same mirror as a 5D Mark II and a Mark I, As you can see, the mirror is stuck. It, it doesn't open all the way. So if you want to, if you want to have it fit, you need to bring the the mirror up first, then mount the lens, and you can shoot like that. Uh, and then if you were to put it down. It's not damaging the the, uh, the mirror or anything, it just doesn't go all the way down. So again, to remove it, you would have to remove uh, the lens and then and then bring down and then bring down bring down the mirror. So now on a on a crop body like a 70, it's a small mirror or a, a rebel or any of the 1.6 APS-C sensors, you'll have no issues whatsoever. And I'll show you what it looks like on a crop sensor. It's quite wide, but it's not full circle. You can see it'll, uh, it cuts it off there and there, so you're not getting uh, 180 degrees all the way around. Okay, I'm just gonna pause this and then I will show you how to do the conversion. Okay, uh, before you start, get your uh, JAS screwdriver, Japanese industrial standard. You can use a Phillips if you if you don't have one, but I highly recommend you order one of these from eBay. They're less than ten dollars, uh, and they strip uh, screw heads much less easily. Um, and in this case, uh, you'll need something like a, a metal calipers, or you can use you can use sharp point scissors um, if you don't have calipers. But calipers are the best tool. Um, and you can pick them up for, for under $20 in some places. Um, it's a fairly easy conversion. So you start with the uh, FDN version of the 7.5 millimeter lens and you remove um, these side screws. out then you remove this then you take these three screws out
Next, what you'll do is where you use the caliper. You need to grab these. Open that a little bit. You need to remove this ring. Then you take this off. Now, if this part comes off, that's okay. And it's possible that this falls out, which is also okay. You just need to make sure you put it in this way. Whoops, see, it just fell out. All you need to do is make sure that when you put it in, This flat part goes up against the top, not the bottom. And it sits over that. Um, now, what I'm going to do now is put the mount over there. There's a little thing there, tab. I'm gonna put that over it. Now, I'm going to attach the mount to the underlying ring. This is going to be easier for me to do with that off and I'll let that fall out. Basically, that notch goes over that notch. And then you line the holes up. Now you put the pin back in, in the proper orientation. Then it lines up. Then you reattach the thread, the thread ring That's it. Conversion's done. This is a really great lens, um, really well built. It's got a bunch of filters built in, which is really sweet. I don't know if you could see it here, but you know what? You can see them rotating in. There's the red one. It's really beautifully built. This one and the older FD version. Um, that's basically it. Pretty easy conversion, and to make it go back to uh, the original FD mount, just do what I did backwards. Thanks again for watching, and you can purchase 
these kits at edmica.com. Thanks.